Нет. А тут у Гелки. Hey! Oh, no, I wanna get, I wanna get. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, there's a, gonna be a bus there marked Lingen 917. Leaves there exactly 8.45. I gotta get there. They say 25 now. And it is snowing quite a bit. Let's not slip. I've got to rush. 20 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. There's Puka Travels, Puka Travels. I'm gonna turn left, go down the road, turn right. We are right. Almost there, almost there. That might be the bus. <laughs> it's not marked Lingen 917, but it's a husky bus. In front of that hotel. So I could be on that, but I don't know. Who should I ask first? Nope, apparently that's not my bus. But those aren't either, so I guess it's just not here yet. Because I asked both sides. <laughs> but the guys, the guy over here said there should be another bus coming, so I guess we'll see about that. Alright, so I saw a guy there and he sent me here. So <laughs> there was another guy I didn't see earlier. It was actually a tour guide. Gotta meet his colleague is one of these buses. Um, it could be that one, but um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> This tour's apparently eight hours, and if it's on time, I'll get back an hour before the next tour starts, which is six to eight hours, which will end at like either midnight or 2 a.m. Then we got a boat ride at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Luckily for mom, she's not she's sitting this one out, so she can get more sleep during the day, but <laughs> I haven't had enough sleep since coming on this holiday. <laughs> Gotta remember on the first night, I'd work till midnight then, didn't sleep and went straight to the airport for 6 a.m. flight. Uh, I'll get enough sleep <laughs> on the last day. Also, the airport, Troms Airport, on the way on the coach, Troms Airport called me. They got my luggage. The luggage that I lost never arrived. It's now in Troms Airport. So I want to go and get it tomorrow. Uh, what a day, man. What a day. What, what, what a holiday. <laughs> I haven't even got the right clothes because they're in that suitcase and it's going to arrive after most of my tours. You just you can't ride it, can you? I got no time to get it today, so I gotta go tomorrow, <laughs> and I leave the day after. Like, <laughs> uh, well, what's happened to me, man? So yeah, there's the ferry. There's cars coming out of it. I'm wondering why the bus. Uh, I mean, I guess the bus ain't coming then. Okay, but well, that makes sense. Or well, unless it is coming and we gotta get on separately. That is another thing. But they did say get out. Anyway, I look forward to the dog sledding. I wonder if it's a Christmas style holiday. It may not be at Christmas, but this is very Christmassy. I, I got what I asked for. So I can't really complain. <laughs> Some people have a swimmer bailing, so someone came up to me directly and said, Are you David? I'm just like, Yeah, mate. He's like, Follow me and take a dog sledding. Okay, cheers.
<laughs> you like me, eh? I don't think you speak English. Probably Norwegian. <laughs> you don't want to defend your friend or your brother, I don't know who. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I used to be terrified of these things. If it's a pit bull, I'm still terrified. Gotta see your friends, mate. <laughs> good boy, cool, good girl. Always wanted to meet huskies. Oh no, I got I can't leave you alone, mate. I can't do that. I feel too guilty. Blue eyes. He's a good dog. Big dog. Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso. How's the bud like? <laughs> I don't know if he wants to bite me. <laughs> They're on their own. Want to be petted? They've got beautiful eyes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't want to get in too close, I'll tell you they do harm you. I just don't want to <laughs> upset him, just in case. I'm sure I smell good. What about your friend? <laughs> Not him? <laughs> You're a calm one, aren't you? A bit less feisty. I feel bad because I don't think I'm spending enough time for each, with each dog. But... <laughs> this is already 
worth it, bro. <laughs> I've not been this up close and personal with dogs before. <laughs> I should have head cam this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to save the head cam for the extra study. Tongue rub? Oh, that feels a bit wet, man. <laughs> Don't want to come out? Andrex, how you doing? Molly and me. <laughs> I don't know this one. Mittens off, slipping off. What about, what about your friend? I did one myself. Couldn't do the rest. Had to get help doing the other five. Did one myself. I only did one myself, but I did one.
Brakes are down here, I got my foot on the brake. This way to turn right. Turn left right, that way to turn right. That was a bit of uphill and downhill. <laughs> Alright. Okay. My legs hurt, but I got the hang of it. be on both skids and the brakes in the middle so I gotta keep moving my left leg or my right leg and then sway it's like a flag plane on a GTA <laughs> if you know you know I hope this is recording <laughs>
jump him and push it at the same time. Naughty talkie is not for me, but. Oh, I don't want to turn left though. I had, to, I had to get off and slide it without also falling off myself.
at least it's like four or full on snow, no. If you fall over, it's probably a safe, safe landing. Like you might get hypothermia or something, but but physically, you can be alright. Well, that is physical, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Won't break anything. I just gotta steer the sled. <laughs> I mean, I knew that. I knew the dogs were gonna. They said they were gonna follow the trail, but like, I didn't realize how much the sled depended on me. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. You ready? It's gonna pull up again. That's that lads. I like what she said. about me guys. Am I too heavy? Is that what it is? It's not just the snow is it? Yeah, there we go. It's emptied out now. I think we're break with a metal bar. <laughs> if I knew it went up I would have done it. <laughs> she probably said in the briefing I just didn't realise. She did the GoPro. But I didn't listen to all of it, I didn't care. <laughs> Clearly not. Break, break. I was tired now. I didn't realize walking in the snow was that much calorific. If I had a bottle of water, I'd do it for longer. Only <laughs> it was harder to do that walk than in the outback in Australia. Outback was longer, but relatively, it's not that far off. Just a different temperature.
Feels better after my chocolate.
good came off. in the brake well but snow's building up. <laughs> Can't be hitting the bubble in front. Hey! Hey! 
face down there now, I didn't realise. Yeah. Hold your slide. 
could have been really bad that. Das ist gut, ja. Mit den, mit den online mit den Check für den Flug musst du die Für ein Jahr und ein Jahr haben wir gearbeitet. Und wir gingen Das ist nicht ideal. Wasser und Eis. Es hat sehr viel geregnet auf dem Weg zurück. Bevor ich den nächsten Clip habe, ich habe ein paar Dinge, die ich nicht erwähnt habe. Also für die Hunde, du musst sechs Hunde für dein Schlepp haben. Es gab ein paar, es war ich und der Tourguide. Also 18 Hunde in total. Also sie hat uns alle gefragt, wie viele Hunde wir haben. Und sie hat uns alle gefragt, wie viele Hunde wir haben. So she asked us, she showed us how to do it, she asked us to get all six dogs, she asked us, she told us which ones to get. Um, so there was a harness you had to put on, I wish I filmed it, but I knew my GoPro was limited battery, especially in cold weather. I should have bought the Enduro batteries to be honest, because they didn't last the whole trip. Going into a hut, we, we got there, halfway point, uh, got all that on camera. The way back it cut off towards the end and towards the end it was like it was going downhill towards like nice mountains it would have been cool but it is what it is i got a bit of the ending a bit a few more seconds but uh that's all but anyway yeah we had to do the harnesses ourselves but i was struggling i struggled like i, I managed to do it for one dog i did it for one dog and i got it to the sled and i i chained it up uh, i managed to do one <laughs> the other ones i had lots of trouble with and the tour guides helped me um so yeah, that was a bit embarrassing. And then falling off to, I fell off three times actually. I fell off three times. And then uh, on, <laughs> on the way back releasing the dogs, I struggled with two. All I had to do was like get a metal, get a metal thing unhooked and get the tag unhooked. And then also get the harness off. But a couple of dogs kept moving around. Just one kept rolling around. One tried to bury my, my mitten that they provided. <laughs> my mitten fell off and he tried to bury it. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> What's going on? There was one black dog that really liked me. One of the, because uh, I, I remember I pet, tried to pet every dog as much as possible. I don't know if I got every dog, but there was one particular dog. I can't remember which one it was specifically, but it was one of the black ones. When she was demonstrating how to do the harness, it came up to me and started like <laughs> cuddling my leg. I, just, I patted it and after the tour ended, it came straight to me again. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> at least I made one friend. Uh, but yeah, the tour guide was great and supportive, you know, even though I was <laughs> falling off a lot. <laughs> At one point, I couldn't even get up out of the snow because it was so deep. I didn't have to, I couldn't actually get up. But yeah, it was, it was fun. Um, I might put the whole footage in, I might not, but you'll see. Like, it's over like, an hour of footage. So if you don't see over an hour of footage, that means I cut it down. Um, if it's at least an hour, it's probably the full footage, just, just so you know. But uh, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, on to the next clips, uh, a bit of good and bad news. I didn't expect I had dog selling that much. I don't have to go for food, picked up my audio or anything, but it all happened so quickly. So I went on the ship, 
Uh, so they took the bus took us to a boat, and the boat is like on time. It goes back and forth constantly, and at a specific time, so we have to get to the boat on time. I got to the boat. It's like it felt like thirty minutes. I don't know what. Well, I'm shivering a bit. Sorry, I'll, I'll explain why in a bit. Um, and then one, there's a guy who came up to me, just came up to me on, 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 and said, are you David? I'm just like, okay, first of all, how do you know? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I just said, yeah, I'm David. And uh, he said, follow me when you get off the boat and uh, you can do the, uh, the uh, dog sledding tour. Because it turned out I was the only one on the entire boat and the entire coach doing the dog sledding tour, <laughs> surprisingly. Everyone was doing snowmobiling, which is fair enough, you know, that, that's really cool. But a whole coach full of people were doing snowmobiling. I, I was there on doing dog sledding. So, so um, it's a family run dog sledding area. So um, I, I met a woman there outside the boat. She said, her, my dad's going to drop you off. And, her, and she also said, my daughter's going to be the tour guide. And then the daughter said, my aunt is going to take you back to the camp. I'm just like, okay, that, that's, that's nice, you know, family run business. They run a good business. It was good. Um, they're really nice to me and uh, I really appreciate that. So. Um, I don't know what their names are. Obviously, I got the tour, the Aurora, I think, Best Arctic. What's, what's, what tour did I do just now? Aurora Adventure are the tour company. So they are the tour company. Um, but I don't think the family is Aurora Adventure. I think they're like a separate private and they, I think they're part of the tour or whatever. So I, I can't chat at the family specifically, but um, the tour, Aurora Adventure, they're the ones that take you there. Um, so it was fun. I fell off a couple of times. It was very... Uh, stressful and uh, tiring trying to get back to the sled because they just run off and you just got to wait till they stop um, I lost my hat at one point I put goggles on I couldn't see properly I saw but it was blurry so I took my goggles off and I must have lost my hat then because I put my GoPro on first then my hat then the goggles I must have taken off my hat with my goggles and my hat fell off or my hat came off when I fell off the fell off the uh, sled they sled at first that's possible too Either way, I've lost it. I contacted the, the company about lost hat. If it comes back tomorrow, it comes back tomorrow. If it doesn't, it's fine. I, I, I informed the family that, I informed the daughter of the family who was a tour guide and I informed, informed the tour company just now. So I'll go and check tomorrow, but I might need to buy a hat because my head has been freezing ever since. Literally, when we got back on the boat as well, the coach wasn't there. I had to take on back to Tromso because of, of the weather, weather being so bad, um, the coach. Uh, was a bit late so that was annoying standing there in the freezing cold outside the building taking cover from the snow blizzard and i got even worse news on the way back as well so puka travels emailed me we're meant to do a northern lights bus chase tonight um that other girl that lost her luggage the first day we came here she went on the same day and she she saw the night lights and i think maybe it's a different company to us but still she saw the lights uh we went uh, to see, we were going to see the lights today, uh, but potentially, obviously, there's no guarantees. Always a chance you can go there, go to whatever place to take you to, because they research places you can go to and take you there, and you still got to, you know, get fortunate to actually see it. So, like, there's still a chance I could have not have seen it anyway. But the point is, take you away from Bronzo, it's six to eight hours long in total, so it could run until 2 a.m. So, they really try and get you something. They emailed me saying, due to the really bad weather conditions, we can't take you today. So the alternatives are to reschedule for Wednesday. I'm leaving Wednesday morning, 6 a.m. So like, that's not possible. And, or you can change your tour to a uh, Arctic, uh, not, not Arctic, sorry, to uh, Northern Lights cruise. I did that, I did that on the first day. We didn't see Northern Lights. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm not doing the same tour again. Or a full refund. Um, so I went to check with my travel agent and hotel and everything just to check if it's possible to delay an extra day. Uh, it's not looking good. Um, the airline price is actually not that. Like, apparently the airline price is really expensive, even though the change was like, apparently it's, it's a lot more because the, uh, the, the price of the flight for the next day actually costs more than what I booked. Or because I booked a whole itinerary and I booked two airlines together in one itinerary. It's a different airline getting here to going back, maybe that's why. Either way, if I'm gonna change it, it's gonna cost me a lot. The hotel I can sort out, everything else I can sort out. And I'd love to do it Wednesday, Mum said I can do it, we can do it Wednesday. But the airline's too expensive, so some things in life you just can't have. And for me, the main reason I came here, Northern Lights, I'm not even gonna get a chance of seeing it. <laughs> you know, you're trying to see it and not seeing it. You know, that's, that's fine, you know, just bad timing, but 
This is just crazy. Really bad weather conditions, so for safety, they cancelled it. So I'm gonna go and ask now if they have one tomorrow. Because maybe, I'm assuming maybe they said not tomorrow because maybe it was fully booked. Or it's just a bad weather. Um, but on Tuesday, they clearly offer the, the sailing, so I don't know. Uh, it's so sad, man, because that other girl, she picked the right day. She went the same day we arrived here. And she saw an aurora <laughs> near, near the border of Finland, which is like two hours from here. So sometimes you make great decisions, sometimes you don't. I just, we should have done it first day, man. I should have booked that for first day. Because the sailing was like, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> People run around a corner. The sailing was at 9 p.m. So like that could have been done any day, literally any day. And it would have been fine with any early tours. That's the mistake I made. Oh. I can't believe it, man. We're not going to see a, a, a six to eight hour minibus chase for the Northern Lights. I might not be able to do it. My head is also freezing, so I might actually go to the mall just to get hat. Even though I've got the Christmas one, I don't think that will do. Um, I think I, should, I need proper wool. Um, but this is, uh, this is a bit calamitous, man. <laughs> My mum will be disappointed too, but like she's enjoyed herself mostly. I'm going to be a lot more gutted because it's been years since I've wanted to see the Northern Lights and the fact that I'm not able to see it is just crazy but I'm at Puka now, I'm going to ask them what's up, hopefully I get some better news. There is hope guys, I've been rebooking another tour, I went to them directly to like the, if you're their headquarters they got a reception there and they don't run 24 hours but like they're open now which is like before 5pm. And uh, yeah, they have a few partners, uh, like a lot of tour operators work together in this city, which is good, really good. Because like if one doesn't have it, then they can refer you to another one. This is not just a reference, they can just book it with them indirectly. <laughs> so uh, they booked me with Best Arctic. Is that the one I want to today? I don't even know. But they meet outside Madison Blue. That's no, a different one then, it's a different one. But um, it's, it starts 50 minutes later. It's an hour, uh, it's an hour less. And also it's a bigger coach, it's a coach, not a minibus, like this one would have been. Um, and yeah, obviously still no guarantee of Northern Lights, but I'm happy at least we get the chance to see it. I would love to show my mom. Hopefully uh, we get to see it tomorrow, <laughs> hopefully. But I'm happy that we actually, we, we went there, we asked and they had a partner, because they couldn't do it, because they want tomorrow. It wasn't cancelled, but I think on Tuesday they do a private tour, because it's tomorrow's private, so it's a different, it's more expensive and it's not available anyway, it's fully booked. So the next chance is Wednesday. They asked me, uh, the first question she asked me was like, when you're flying home and I told her. Then she looked Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, she said some people canceled their tours today, some people didn't. Um, so she, she didn't text me, but she said it's better as you go tomorrow. And I, I listened to her and I, I respect safety, especially if my, my mom's involved as well. <laughs> I take more risks, it was just me. She looked through all the tours available tomorrow for that or something similar and she found one tour operator, there's, one, there's only one tour operator left that, that wasn't fully booked up or was still running and uh, she booked me on that and because it was cheaper it was like 500 not cheaper Norwegian kroner I don't know how much cheaper that is in pounds but I'll get a bit of a refund for that as well because it's cheaper uh, so they refund me the difference between the price so you know a bit less money which I appreciate and uh, we're not staying another night so <laughs> Even if even if they couldn't do that, flights are too expensive. And my mom just asked the hotel for an extra night, and apparently it's a lot as well. So we're definitely not doing that. Uh, I hope to get rich one day, but sooner than later, <laughs> then I can take mum when I want. But yeah, I'm gonna check for souvenirs now. This is my souvenir hat. I would normally get caps, uh, but it's fitting for Norway that I get this. Tromso Northern Lights. It's also I needed it for my head anyway because my head was really cold. Uh, it's not wool, but I wanted something said Tromso at least, <laughs> or Norway, preferably Tromso, so it is what it is. I should buy some water. Um, also, my suitcase, as I mentioned, my suitcase is at the airport, so I did mention that, I think, so I got to get an Uber. Mom wants to come with me. Uh, she, she's happy that we got the other tour, um, and she doesn't mind the lack of sleep. So we're doing a big tour tomorrow evening, then flying home the other morning. So no need to pay crazy fees. Uh, I need to save for Australia anyway. I have saved, I've saved a decent amount for Australia uh, in March, but I need to save a bit more up. Uh, my wages and certain things, and not spending more too much here, will be enough for that for sure. But uh, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're nearly there for that anyway. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna go meet my mum. Uh, actually, no, we're not gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we eat and uh, we'll check in on mum and then we'll end the vlog. I look forward to tomorrow. Uh, before we do that bus tour, we're doing something else. So there'll be another vlog and then the last vlog before we fly home. It'll be trying to see the Northern Lights. Hopefully we get to see it. Also, like in terms of people and the vibes I get from people, this is quickly turning into one of my favorite places I visit in Europe. Like in terms of the people, like everyone's nice. It was, it was convenient for me because I don't know many languages. So I, I know one language fluently, English. I don't know a bit of Tamil. <laughs> I don't know much of any new European language. So it's, you know, obviously when you go to another country with a different language, you don't expect everyone to speak English. But you come to Tromso and pretty much everyone you see speaks English anyway. <laughs> so, you know, that's helpful to me. Obviously that's a different thing, that's a personal thing because uh, I don't speak other languages. But still, I only got this vibe from like Vienna, Austria as well. Vienna, Austria was great. Um, and yeah, it's not just about speaking English, like everyone's just nice. I've not uh, seen, <laughs> I've not seen one rude person, you know? <laughs> I've, I've genuinely not. Uh, the, the, the guy on the sledding today was a bit aggressive, but he was another tourist. But I don't think he was uh, having a go at me or anything. He just wanted me to go and I fell off my sled again. But yeah, like from the people that live here, I've gotten very good vibes. Hello, Mom. How are Hello. you doing? We're looking for a place to eat. Uh, Hard Rock Cafe was an option, but we don't have pizza. My mom really wants pizza. The last time she came to Norway, Oslo, she tried some pizza. And she said it was some of the best pizza she ever tried. So uh, she wants to try some Norwegian pizza again. So we're looking for pizza place. There was a place we just saw, Snappy's, it's closed. Uh, so there should be a place down the other way, four minutes down the road. So it's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's raining on top of the all the snow we've had and the ice. There's now water on the floor and below it ice. It's not ideal. It's a big mountain of snow. <laughs> Gotta be a bit more careful. <laughs> I do still love snow. Snow is amazing, but then it turns into ice. Then it starts raining and then it just turns into a nightmare. <laughs> but we, we, we won't slip. We won't slip. Wow, it's crazy. <laughs> Don't slip, Mum. Apparently, it's snowed in London today. Apparently. <laughs> we barely see snow in London nowadays, probably because of all the pollution. It's mainly Northern England that's yet, that gets most of the snow in England, in the UK in general. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. But apparently, there was snow in England today. Aunt said it, so fair enough. <laughs> the one time it snows, we're not there. That's funny. <laughs> At least we've got snow here. <laughs> We've decided on the carnivora, which sounds interesting enough. But there's some good ones. It's an Italian uh, restaurant, which I like. I, lo I love Italian food, one of my favorite cuisines. By far, my favorite European one, anyway. There's some good options. Some good options. Mum's excited for pizza. We've got it. Well, let's go then. <laughs> well, that's not the piece of graffiti I expected, but we're on to the artist. I found my suitcase, lost it, arrived on Saturday, lost it, it's now Monday. <laughs> We're leaving Wednesday morning, so we've got one more day, but at least I got my clothes now. The expensive clothes I bought to keep me warm, they're finally here. So I can at least keep a bit warmer than I am now. I got merino wool, jumper, fleece, a big jacket. <laughs> we've got it. <laughs> we came to the airport, we don't know if it was closed or not, but it's almost 8 p.m. and it's still here. It's not uh, a busy airport, so I, I just need to double check, but. Yeah, we got the only Uber in town. It took me ages to find an Uber. There's like one Uber driver in the whole city. We'll go a taxi back. Unfortunately, it's more money wasted getting this, but at least we got it now. <laughs> it's because it's not going to be open when we fly home because we're flying home that early. So, because I know the opening time, not the closing time. Anyway, you happy here? Yep. Let's get a taxi. Bloody hell, mate. This is all over. Like, there's an airport roundabout just around the end. So much water, mate. <laughs> Everything's waterlogged. Uh, long day, long day. Ah, uh, yes, warm pajamas, big jackets, very nice, and pure merino wool jumper. 
and then there's thermals and even you know underwear there's woolly underwear in there woolly socks i was properly kitted out in proper wool and jackets and a fleece as well i can finally use it <laughs> even though i'm leaving in a couple of days trousers will be so much better they're proper for outdoors water resistant better than these jeans i've been surviving on because i don't want to spend 200 pounds on the brand new trousers that were suitable for the weather finally <laughs> the amazon bargain is here i'll be a bit warmer now your boy davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and goodbye